Hey folks, this is Darren here with Engadget. You are looking at the Pre-3, the unreleased Pre-3 for AT&T there on your right, and the much more diminutive Veer 4G there on your left. So, just to give you an idea of the screen difference here, quite a bit, quite a bit of difference. So these are the, here's the keyboard side by side. Obviously the Pre-3 has bit more size to work with here. Just gonna walk you through some of the get through some of the so WebOS runs quite beautifully on this hardware. It's obviously uh, not the fastest hardware out there right now, but it does do a decent job of keeping up with what's available here. The only thing we did notice is that the like maps here takes few seconds to load. Um, not the not the fastest in that regard. Uh, let's see, we'll load up calendar here. It takes a few seconds. The dialer, dialer's pretty quick. Some of the more advanced applications, uh, they do take some time though. Let's see, uh, pull up the web here. Definitely benefits from having the increased resolution compared to that of the Veer. Pinch to zoom works quite well. Maps, browser, haven't had any issues with it so far. Nice bounce there at the end. Notification bar down there at the bottom is telling me I have an email coming up. photo launcher here. It's just a look at the photo roll, what we've taken. Swipes through pretty smoothly here. You can just swipe up on these cards to throw them away or swipe down to bring them into the foreground here. Here's our own Engadget app. Looks better than ever uh, on the uh, higher res display. It's a shame this will be the last WebOS phone we ever see. Unless Meg Whitman uh, does something crazy, brings it all back. I'm not quite sure that's going to happen though. So there's a mobile hotspot feature here. We don't have that activated, obviously. All the standard settings, the device info here. Sounds and ringtones. AT&T tone. This thing could have had such a good life, such a such a healthy life, but it was not to be. Amazon MV3 comes preloaded on this phone. App catalog, not not uh, not exactly growing by leaps and bounds these days, unfortunately. I do have a few apps in here though. So we're currently connected on Wi-Fi. So it brings up a new card. Takes a few seconds. Not too bad though. 